Hi everyone, uh, I want to do a uh, Fanta Pen review today, and a station review. Um, for about maybe 10 years, I've always carried a Fanta Pen with me, and I've always purposely carried it in with black ink, uh, because you have to sign papers or s fill out official forms, and they always want it in black ink. Personally, I'm not a fan of black ink at all. I personally prefer sapphire blue or royal blue ink, um, but that's just sort of the way unfortunately things are at the moment. Um, so I've always carried this. This is the um, the Parker Frontier uh, fountain pen, pen, and it comes with um, just the standard uh, medium nib. I've never really found this pen in a fine or extra fine nib. I actually prefer an extra fine nib. I uh, grew up using a Mont Blanc um, classic with an extra fine nib. My mum has always used extra fine nibs, so naturally my sisters and I were always given um, extra fine. And we did try other other um, sizes of nibs, but we just generally didn't like it. Um, so I've always sort of EDC'd a... Um, Mont Blanc. Um, it's not really the pen, the brand that matters. It's the nib, and this is an extra fine nib. I'd like it to focus, but gen um, just because I'm doing the video, it's just going to be awkward. Uh, this is an extra fine nib, and I absolutely love this. I have blue cartridges in this, and this actually takes the international standard cartridges as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I wanted. Um, to have an extra fine um, nibbed fountain pen but not something that I would not too expensive so that I wouldn't because I tend to drop things quite a lot because of my medical condition so I didn't want to damage something too much so I was looking around and I found something really nice that I wanted to try um, this is the Graf von Faber-Castell fountain pen and it is the Graf von Faber-Castell Timitio fountain pen and the colour of it is night blue and as you've probably already guessed by now, the nib is extra fine. So let's go ahead and show you. This is how it comes. I have already opened it once before, um, but I put it back just to show you how it comes. Because I like the small details of how it's presented and so on. So cardboard box, put that to the side, and then you get this box. Um, yeah, so it's a, just a standard box. You get a um, a filling instruction booklet in different languages, and then the pen. The only thing that I really didn't like, first of all, because I like small details, is that you don't get an ink cartridge of any kind in in the um, in the box, and I really thought I was quite annoyed about that. I like, if you're going to spend a lot of money, I like that you should get at least one ink cartridge in the box. So, one negative point. But that's just me being pedantic and um, liking small details. So, this is the fountain pen. Uh, the colour of, this is actually all metal. Um, so, this is the colour night blue. And I absolutely love this colour. So, it either can be called night blue or midnight blue. Uh, but uh, Graf describes it as night blue. So there we go. Uh, it's not a screw in or screw down. It is just a standard push in, push off. And then it can be posted. Putting the cap on the back is known as posting it. So you can just post it like that. And it's pretty secure. And it is fairly well balanced there isn't a problem with the balance itself so I'll give you some quick measurements and then I'll try and ink it and show you how it works and so on well how it writes so just trying to get this straight let's have a look yep okay let's zoom in there and give you a better there we go okay so it is 
five centimeters long. Uh, the top, we'll try and do it here. So thirteen millimeters, and the base is exactly ten millimeters. So sorry, what's that out of focus? It's um, ten millimeters, so it's a centimeter long. Um, diameter, sorry. Uh, the nib then is an extra is an extra fine nib as I mentioned. Let me see if I can focus this in. And of course, it's going to be stupid just when I want it to work. There we go. So you, this one actually says EF at the bottom, which is extra fine. It's not a gold plated nib. I think it's it's a rhodium plated nib, whereas the, the Mont Blanc ones are gold plated nibs. Okay, so let me just give you another couple of measurements on here. The the pen itself, the writing part. So the pen itself, the writing part is il let's see. 11.7 centimeters long. Um, the nib is about 18 millimeters, and the handle part here is a bit more accurate. It's about 9 millimeters. I I think they should be bigger, to be honest. However, let's get to the pen. So you do, however, get the converter with it. So you can just take that out it's a standard ink converter and this is a metal cover off the pen the, the base is all metal the actually graphene fiber castell actually does this with um, wood as well but I didn't want to chip it or destroy it so I got the full metal one okay so let's go ahead and um, ink the pen so I'm going to use standard black cartridges because I want it to sort of replace the um, the the Parker Frontier because this has an extra fine nib and I like writing with extra fine nibs. Um, bottle of water, which I'm um, to struggle to open. Okay, let's have a go. Then. Let's see if I can get this on screen. There we go. So not much of an effort there, which I like. And yeah, I'll just do it now. Um, another good thing I like about these pens is that you can actually carry a spare cartridge in in the bottom here. Just pops in. Remember to put it upside down. Never like this because then it just gets stuck. So it's always should go upside down into the base there and then you can just screw this back on let's try it without okay okay so bottle of water try and zoom out a little bit here sorry I will learn to make these videos a bit more professional as time goes by um, at the moment it's just I'm learning how to do this properly so I think it's pretty well inked because it started to flow out so let's try this here we go see yeah not quite inked just yet starting to flow And again, this is one of the problems I had last time when I was inking a um, uh, Lamy. Um, because these nibs are extra fine, they do take a bit of time for the ink to come. And let's see if I can actually get it to... I'm 
and think a bit more. One thing I always do with these is just push some ink through the there we go. Well, it's come out, which is good. Okay. Let's see if we can get this back. I'll do the cleanup later, it's not a huge problem. Right. Yep, happy with that. Okay. Now obviously I've messed up this here, so let's get this onto one side. And the pen here, I'm just gonna dry my hands. <laughs> Castell Timetio uh, Night Blue Fountain Pen Extra Fine Nib So it does write, it writes quite nice actually, so I'm actually pleased. Um, for me, I think in comparison to the Mont Blanc Extra Fine Nib, this is pretty much the same, so I think it's a 0.4 uh, millimeter uh, right. It, it also depends, it's actually relative because it depends on how much pressure you actually put on because it can be a lot wider or a lot thinner. Um, for me, just the amount of pressure I put on onto the nib, um, for me the the extra fine is, is pretty much always a 0.4 millimeter nib, and I'm actually holding it from here, not here. For me, it's too close to the nib. Um, so look, I actually find it comfortable just to hold it like this, slightly away from the nib. Um, part one so I will go ahead and do another part of this video as well um, and give you more details okay thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in part two thanks <laughs>